All right, all right, all right. It's time for your weekly world's first Zer PSA. We're going to go through his entire inventory, but first things first, he's on EDZ located near the Winding Cove. The first exotic he has is the Telesto, the exotic fusion rifle that's broken the game the most. Currently, I don't see much usage of this in either PvE or PvP, but it's not a bad fusion rifle overall, so keep that in mind. Most of you probably have it by now, though. And then we have the Aeon Swift with 67 stats. This is an S-tier exotic for challenging endgame content. You definitely want to use this, so that way you can make power ammo for your teammates in Grandmasters and stuff like that. It's also really good in, like, King's Fall. We needed it for the War Priest and stuff. This roll right here, unfortunately, falls a little short with the low resilience, so might pass on that roll overall because you're using this exotic in PvE and low resilience kind of sucks. Next up, we have the Ursa Furiosa, which is an exotic that was previously used a lot for Titans, especially for their Sentinel Shield and blocking. This roll's not too bad, 68 stats overall. The high intellect and strength and low discipline does hurt a little bit though. Next up, we have the Astrocyte Verse, which is an exotic that people are using currently for Duo the Death Singer encounter, keep that in mind. And it has 23 resilience, 20 intellect. So the 20 intellect hurts a little bit, but still a good exotic overall and a lot of people are enjoying that and it did recently get buffed it actually makes enemies volatile when you blink past them can be fun we have the lonesome sidearm which is the 260 rpm probably my least favorite rpm sidearm with rapid hit opening shots so just an average roll at best a farewell with thresh and moving target i'm gonna hard pass on that one that is not a good roll then we have an extraordinary rendition with multi kill clip and firmly planted which is kind of a throwaway perk there this can get one for all in this category here, so probably pass on that roll. The Eclos Shotgun this week has Subsistence and Trench Barrel, which, again, you can craft that weapon, and that's definitely far from the God roll. Uh, Brigand's Law has Volt Shot and Threat Detector. I know a lot of people do like Volt Shot. This isn't the best roll overall, though, in my opinion. It can be a fun roll if you like Volt Shot, and I'd probably just use the Eclos SMG over this, though. Next up, we have the Sail Spy Pitch Glass. A lot of people do like Vorpal on their weapons, however on power weapons it's actually only a 10% damage increase. Special ammo weapons it's 15 and primary ammo weapons it's a 20% increase. So it's far from a god roll on the sales by pitch class. That's going to be a hard pass and you can craft that weapon, keep that in mind. And then we have the recurrent impact, another craftable weapon, Focus Fury and Genesis. So not a good roll, hard pass for that one. On the armor we have 18 strength gauntlets pass. 65 stats on the chest, 14 resilience, and pretty even stats across the board. Maybe a little too much in mobility, and honestly, you're kind of just looking for spikes in resilience and discipline, so we're going to pass on that. We're also going to pass on the helmet, and the boots are okay, but maybe a little too much intellect. For the exotic weapon this week, we got the Hawkmoon with opening shot, which is actually pretty good, one of the better perks. It does have smooth grip, which is giving an increase to handling stability and small bore. So one of the better rolls of Hawkmoon. Some people think that the God Roll Hawkmoon does have opening shot because it synergizes really well with the weapon. Obviously, you get opening shot, you land that first hit. And then on top of that, when you do get your time seven paracausal shot, opening shot can benefit it even more, making sure that you actually land that shot, that one hit kill shot. So I think that opening shot is probably one of the god rolls, if not the best god roll of Hawkmoon, but some argue Eye of the Storm. Let's look at the armor for the other characters now. We're going to look at the Warlock. The gauntlets for the Warlock have 12 mobility, 18 recovery, and 16 strength, so we're going to pass on those. Chest is a hard pass with way too much mobility, way too much mobility on the helmet. And then we have really high recovery and intellect, so we're going to pass on those boots as well. For the Hunters this week, 64 stats, really high gauntlets, pass on those. Don't need that. We're going to the chest. We have really low discipline, unfortunately. The helmet has really high mobility, recovery, and strength. And lastly, we have super high intellect and recovery boots. So honestly, kind of a depressing week from Xur, other than the Hawkmoon being good. But let me know what you might snag down in the comments below. Obviously, if you want to craft some of these weapons, you can grab them and put your deep sight harmonizers on them. But that's a wrap on this video, bringing you the Xur PSA every week. As always, so make sure you subscribe, smash the like button. See you in the next one. Later.